What's up guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, I'm Katie and on today's video, I have a very exciting debt update for you guys. So March was actually a magic month for us, which just means that we had three paychecks in March instead of our normal two paychecks in a regular month. So because of that, we had extra income and we were able to make a lot of progress on our debt payoff. And I've been so incredibly excited to share this with you because we did hit a couple of milestones in March. So let's go ahead and go over to the spreadsheet so you guys can see our new numbers. All right, so this is my debt payoff spreadsheet. And as you can see, we have four debts listed here. These are the debts that we started 2024 with, and they're listed from smallest balance to largest balance. So my husband has two federal student loans. We have a car loan for our family car, and then we have a SoFi loan. That's also my husband's student loans. So we're working on paying off Fed loan four because it's the highest or it's the lowest balance, not the highest balance, it's the lowest balance, but also it does have a higher interest rate. So these three actually have a very similar interest rate. They're all right around 8%. And then this SoFi loan is only 5.4%, I believe. So this one's the highest balance, but it's the lowest interest rate as well. So this will be the last one that we pay off. So last time we checked in on our debt payoff was at the end of February. So February was actually an awesome pay off, debt payoff month for us as well, because we had a little bit of extra income because we got our state tax return back. We didn't get a federal return this year, but we did get a state return. So we had some extra income because of that, which was really nice. So we did have a great debt payoff month in February. So we ended February with under $140,000 of debt, which was really awesome. Um, so we had a balance of $139,064.19, and we had paid off $3,930 and some change just in February, which that is not normal for us. That's a very high debt payoff month for us. And then year to date, as at the end of February, we paid off $6,900.66 of debt. So that brings us to our March debt balances. Are you ready for it? So Fedlin 4, the new balance is now $7,990. No change. I'm sure there's change now because we do have daily interest accruing. But um, as of the end of March, there was like an even balance, which was kind of cool. So I told you guys that I was hopeful that we would get under $10,000 for March because I knew we would have some extra money since it was a three paycheck month. Did not expect to get under 8,000. So I am like beyond excited about that. If you can't tell, um, I always feel like once you get under the $10,000 mark that paying off that loan feels so much more manageable and realistic. When you have like a five figure balance on any of your loans, it's like, oh, this is gonna take forever to pay off. But once you get under that $10,000 mark, it's like, okay, I know we can do this. And now I'm like, okay, I know this debt will be gone this year. You guys know I really wanna pay it off by June, but if it doesn't happen, if it doesn't get paid off by June, I know we will not go into 2025 with this debt, which I'm very happy about. So I know you guys could tell that I'm, I'm very excited about that. So this is the debt that we are currently targeting. We wanna get this gone as soon as possible. So we made awesome progress in March towards reaching that goal. Next, we have Fedlin 5, which is not quite as exciting. We did pay a little bit more on it this month than we normally do. I did make two payments on it rather than one because of the way the paychecks fell. I just needed to make two payments in March so that my April payment could be covered. So I did make more progress on it than normal, but it's still not a ton of progress. So our new balance is $21,348.64. So we're, we're not under the $20,000 mark. We're not under the $21,000 mark, but it's, we'll get under 21,000 this year. I don't think we'll get under 20,000 because we only, when we pay like the normal minimum payment, um, it only takes off, it takes off like less than $200 of the balance. So I doubt we'll get under 20,000 unless something happens and we're able to put a lot of extra towards it. But I don't think so because my plan is to start paying off the Highlander after Fedlon 4. Actually, you know what? We might get this under 20,000 this year because um, we finished the application for Mark's um, student loan money. So he works at a hospital and they have this awesome program where you can go back to school and they can help you with tuition. But if you're already out of school, they'll help you with your student loan um, reimbursement or they'll reimburse you for some of your student loan money, whatever. Um, so I think they offer $500 per month up until you get to the $10,000 mark. And his application wasn't accepted. It still says pending. 
um, but they did email him asking for additional paperwork. We filled that out. Um, they needed a background check for some reason, but we filled that out and um, we're, we're waiting on that. So if that gets approved, maybe this will get paid off faster than I think. Um, they have the balances for SoFi and FedLoan 5 because I told you guys I wasn't sure if they would be able to send money to a non-federal um, student loan, if, that, if they could do private student loans like our SoFi one, but they, they took both. So I don't know how they're going to go about doing that, if they're going to send half of the money to SoFi and half to FedLoan, or if they're going to give it to Mark and then he gets to decide what he wants to do with it. I'm not really sure yet. I just know we finished the application, so we are on the right track. So maybe we, there is hope for this loan. We'll see. And then moving on to the Highlander, we now owe less than 43,000. So we're at $42,983.64, which is nice. This is gonna take us a while, but as I said, once we get Fed Loan 4 paid off, this will be our new target. I would love to have this paid off completely by December of 2025. So we got this car in December of 2023. So if I could pay it off in two years, I feel like that would save me a ton of interest and if you're going to buy a new car, it's smart to pay it off as soon as possible. So I would love to have this paid off in two years. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. We'll just have to see how everything works out. But that's my like very optimistic goal. And then the last loan that we have is SoFi. So this is another set of my husband's student loans. He refinanced some of his federal student loans to SoFi to get a lower interest rate. So we are now under $60,000 on this loan. So we owe $59,000. $869.62. So it's still a lot of money, but I am happy to see us under that next mark. So every time you pay off $10,000, it feels pretty good. So now we're under the $60,000 mark on that. So I'll take it. We still have a long way to go, but I'm, I'm seeing progress and that keeps me going. So in total, our new loan balances for March of 2024 is $132,191.90, which feels a whole lot better than what we ended up last month, 139,000. So I'm hopeful that we'll be in the 120 range at the end of April. That will be very cool if we can do that. So I'm happy with that debt balance. Um, it's still a lot of money, of course, we're still in the six figure range, but again, I'm seeing progress and that was a big chunk of debt we paid off. So we actually paid off $6,872.29 in March, which as you can see is way more than we normally pay off in a month. Again, it was because that magic month, I'm very thankful for it, but you know, we can't expect those numbers every single month, but I'm gonna take them and run with it when I can. So total debt paid this year is now $13,772.95, which is incredible. If you would have asked me at the beginning of this year, if we would have had almost $14,000 paid off in the first quarter. I would not have believed you because that is a lot of money. So I'm very thankful with how this year is going so far. Um, we haven't had anything crazy pop up that's caused us to put money towards like an emergency instead of debt. We've been able to save a little bit, invest a little bit while we're paying off debt and we've still been able to make this progress. So I really couldn't ask for um, anything better as far as debt payoff goes. So I guess we kind of hit three milestones in March, we got this under 10,000, we got this under 60,000, and then we paid off more than $10,000 of debt so far this year, way more than $10,000 of debt so far this year. So again, I'm very happy with how this month went. I wish every single month could be a magic month, but unfortunately, most months we just get two paychecks. But if January and February show us what the rest of the year will be like, then I think we're still going to make amazing progress this year. So I'm excited to see how quarter two goes. You guys know if you guys have been here for a while that we are starting the financial order of operations from the Money Guy show in April and we're doing that for quarter two at least. I might stick with it longer than that but I just want to try it out for quarter two. So the step we are in on the financial order of operations is debt payoff. So that means any extra money that we have we throw it at debt. So that's why I'm hopeful that we can get this paid off by June because we're going to be going very hard on our debt for the next three months at least. Probably longer than that if you guys know me, but we're gonna we're gonna be very aggressive for the next three months. So we'll see how much progress we can make in quarter two, but I feel like quarter one was just incredible. I'm very thankful for the progress we were able to make. But now I feel like I'm rambling, so I will let you guys go. I appreciate you guys watching the video and always encouraging me and cheering me on. It does help to have so many supportive people at your back and saying, you can do this. 
because you guys make me believe that I can do this. So thank you guys for being here and always supporting and watching and being so kind. I really appreciate you guys and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye.